Zack Snyder and Netflix dropped the first official trailer for Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver. I'm going to take a look at this one and see if it answers any questions about where we left off from Part 1 next. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw John Roca. How you doing on this Monday morning? Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you enjoyed your time uh, outdoors maybe or going and doing stuff. Well, listen, we're back at it in the world of entertainment. And this morning, Netflix and Zack Snyder dropped the first official trailer for Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver. This is one that I've been looking forward to seeing in terms of the Part 2 version of this uh, story here because I did enjoy Part 1. And no, it's not the best of Zack Snyder's uh, universe or films that he's done in the past, but but it's not the worst of Zack Snyder films either. It's somewhere firmly in the middle in terms of his entire resume of movies. But I liked it for the most part. And we know it is his Star Wars story essentially set here in uh, out in the out in space and what have you. And we have uh, Zakora coming back here, Sophia Batella, and she's got her troops, as we saw by the end of part one. I hope you've seen part one if you're watching this trailer reaction. Essentially got all her people together, kind of like Magnificent Seven, and they're going to go after the armies of the mother world. So uh, what's been promised? is this one is uh, the writer of the film promised that this is going to be about a two hour cut a pg-13 cut and it's going to be full of a lot of action and fighting and violence and all of that let's not waste any time here let's bring up this trailer first official trailer for part two the scar giver for rebel moon let's go oh yeah there's the lightsabers Essentially, I guess he just waited until she got close to him to start wheeling that thing. Ooh. Their nightmare is you and I fighting together. There's Anthony Hopkins. You must know you cannot win. Wow. You're oh, for God's sakes. Oof. Because there is nothing to return to. Oh, wow. Dark oh. days lie ahead of us all. Oh, uh, yeah. We will teach you how to fight. All right, so now we're teaching the villagers. Impressive. Like all the Magnificent Seven movies, which I basically went on a run of over the weekend and watched the, the three man. sequels. Those this village holds most dear. I should destroy them. Oh, rock and roll Snyder, let's go. <laughs> I have no choice but to fight. <laughs> yeah, Hopkins, get into it. Oh, look at those visuals, man. Come on now. Hate him if you want, but I love this shit. Are you truly prepared to allow this to continue in your name? I'm sorry. I won't allow this place to die for me. Oh! Of course, gotta have the lightsaber fight. Now he's talking about a third one. Is this the Empire Strikes Back version of this trilogy? I wonder. Or will she lose a hand? <laughs> oh. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's cut that off there. All right, well, look, I like this as a trailer in terms of the action and the fighting. I was hoping a little bit more of the story, a little bit more of the motivation for why, because, I mean, the first film... It kind of rushed how we were getting to know these characters, how we were getting to know this crew and their background. And he's got another cut that's coming that's an R-rated cut. And I hope there's more about the background and less talky exposition and more showy exposition uh, so that we can have a connection with these characters, a connection with what's going on with each of their respective stories and the respective villages and the respective exposure to the mother world armies. Like we, I would want, I wanted more of that in part one. And I, I felt we were a bit cheated uh, and 
casting all these great actors or good actors to great actors to play these roles, I think you kind of cheated them by not giving them more for us to uh, um, hook into. But we don't see a lot of that here in this trailer, unfortunately. So maybe this is just that first trailer to get you excited about the about the action and the battle sequences and the fight sequences and the the essentially the lightsabers or the space swords, whatever they want to say they're using there, um, and all the visuals that we're going to get in this with all the massive explosions and uh, fights that are going on. Uh, but we do see them teaching the villagers, which, as I said in the trailer reaction, is very similar to what we see in all the Magnificent Seven versions that there are out there, from the anime to the remakes to the reboots to the TV series. We see that all in whatever the one that's coming here from Nick Pixelato, if that ever happens. So we see that all the time in those versions. So no surprise that they're doing this here. Uh, and Sophia Botella, who I thought was damn good in the first movie, and I, I had a lot of questions about her being able to carry a franchise. She looks very capable once again in this uh, in this second part here uh, to carry this franchise so i kind of like that as well so overall to it did i like the trailer yes for the visuals and the fight sequences and the Zack snyder stuff i've come to expect from his uh, from his work but what I've wanted, some more of the story, some more of the connection with these characters, some more interactions with these characters in the quiet moments, have, understanding, like connecting on why uh, they're fighting, you know, shared histories of their dealings with the mother world, that kind of stuff. Yes, I would have liked a little bit more, but I get what they're trying to do. They're, getting, they're trying to hook you in uh, to the Zack Snyder fans that love the action, love the fight sequences, love the battle stuff, love the visuals, slow motion or otherwise. And of course, the Anthony Hopkins droid doing what he's doing, pretty badass there in slow motion with the cape billowing and all of that so you know visually you're in the right hands but i was hoping for a bit more of the story but we'll see in subsequent trailers uh, when that happens and this one is coming out i think on april 19th i think is the uh, four months after uh, the uh, first one had dropped so look for that one coming out here very soon in the next few weeks so i'm looking forward to seeing this one and reviewing it uh, and giving you my two cents on it well what do you think of the trailer did you like the trailer did it work for you did it not work for you did you like the visuals or did it feel like oh here's Zack snyder going crazy again let me know down in the comment section below hit a like on this video share it on your social media and hey more than anything else please subscribe to the channel down below hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so you see when we're dropping all the content we do here on the outlaw nation channel and hey the patreon is back up and running doing the hangouts every week talking with everybody great people over there on the patreon new benefits that have just been put up there on the patreon now officially go and take a look see if there's a tier that works for you and support everything we do here on the outlaw nation channel at patreon patreon.com slash john roca all right y'all take care of yourselves be well we'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the outlaw nation